Hi, Lori here with a quick video on how to do frequency distributions and relative frequency distributions. And we're going to start with mm, what snack? Let's try that. And we're going to try this one. Let's go ahead and wrap our text. So we, what's our favorite snack while studying? Um, as you can see down here, I've got my original data and I've got my working data where I've cleaned some things up. I'm going to go ahead and copy this entire column and put it over into a new sheet. I'm going to paste it. There we go. Make that a little wider. And now I'm going to count up my items. One way I could do it, um, and if you don't have that much data, it does work. We could sort this field by going to data, sort, and what is your favorite snack? We'll go A to Z. There we go. And so our first snack is cheese pizza. Our second snack is pep pizza. And then we have veggie sticks. And then we've got warm chocolate chip cookies. Warm CC. Seeds. All right, let's widen that column out a little bit. There we go. And now I can just highlight all the cheese pizzas, go down here, and I see that my count is eight, so I can just put eight there. Uh, let's do the same thing for pepperoni pizza. And that says 12 down there, so we'll put 12 in here. Let's go to veggie sticks, and it says we have 13 veggie sticks, so we'll put that number up there. Finally, we have warm chocolate chip cookies. I'll bet you I've forgotten something, wings, that's right. For warm chocolate chip cookies, we have 21. And for wings, we have a total of 14. Let's go ahead and do an auto sum to make sure, go back to home, do a quick auto sum to make sure we've got all our responses. We know we have 68 responses. We don't have any nulls. So the good news is that's the correct number. This is your frequency distribution. This is your uh, variable. Now this is your possible response. We'll call it possible response. And this is the frequency of that response. Let's go ahead and wrap those texts so it looks better. Widen that out just a little bit. Nice. Okay. Now the next question is how do we do a relative frequency distribution? Well, relative means relative to the total number. So let's go down here and label this total. And our proportion is just going to get be the frequency divided by the total. So it's going to be plus 8 divided by our total. And because I want to copy this formula, I'm going to go ahead and anchor my D7 by hitting F4 or function F4 or command T, I believe, on the Mac. There we go. And 11.11 .11 is that proportion. Let's add these up and make sure they add up to one, and they do. Now, if we want to make it into a percentage, we simply pick up that, and we can either multiply by 100 and put in the percent sign, or we can just do that and reformat it as a percent. There we go. Add those. Drag that down. Beautiful. Auto sum it again. 100%. And that's your frequency distribution, and these two are your relative frequency distributions. One is your proportion, which would be nice if I could spell that correctly, proportion, and the other is your percentage frequency distribution. And that's it for this video. Easy enough. 